Hi, we're Ballpark Music and we covered Paranoid Android by Radiohead for Like A Version. Please could you stop the noise of... Me and my friend in school, we like learned all the guitar solos and we're just like nerding out trying to learn all the chords and stuff. To be honest, it's a dream come true to finally <laughs> do it. Felt like I was 15 again, back in my mate's bedroom, discovering Radiohead. So yeah, <laughs> good, good times. They're absolutely one of my favorite bands. Like up there with the Beatles, they're like God tier. <laughs> yeah, and we're very well aware of, of Sam's life for Radiohead, so we knew that it was a serious suggestion. We sort of have this policy in the band where if we're covering something, we just start by playing it, almost just imitating, you know, the existing recording. And if we like it, we sort of don't change much. We are, are not much into like, really, you know, brand new sort of reimaginings of songs unless they like naturally evolve that way. Yeah, the way that we individually play our instruments and our vibe uh, changes how the song goes. With your opinions... Obviously this year's been uh, one for the history books with COVID coming along. It's being done here in Brisbane and it feels really rad to do it in our hometown and not have to really travel anywhere. Like our studio is like a couple of minutes down the road and I'm just going to drive home after this. <laughs> like a version has always been a really special and exciting thing to do and it's awesome to be asked to do it every time we're like That'll probably be our last one. <laughs> and then, like, I think secretly we're like, oh, I hope we get to do it again. <laughs> Recently, we've all really loved um, Stella Donnelly doing Lovers in the Air. Yeah. Um, oh, I, uh, we were, <laughs> after that came out, we were just all like, guys, did you see the Like A Version this morning? Yeah. Oh my God. We've uh, been very honored to do Like A Version four times now. First time we did uh, Do You Realize by The Flaming Lips. <laughs> which we were laughing about today because it was still in that semi-stripped back kind of uh, environment and Very. Dean played recorder and... <laughs> yep, uh, Paul played melodica. We Weekend. did Vampire Weekend, uh, which, was, which was really fun and we ended up playing that in our set for a long time after that as well because that was so much fun. We just wanted to try and do something iconic and we're yeah. all just like, bugger it, let's do Paranoid's <laughs> best known song. I think that the moment is when it all kicks back in at the end and everyone's got the distortion on and it's just lots of fun. Yeah, that's like the movie <laughs> credits roll bit. You're just yeah. like, see ya, <laughs> check Whew, it out. We're done. <laughs> <laughs> Nearly. <laughs> I did worry like if it were, if the song itself was too old and perhaps not everyone would know it, but we really want to show the kids. <laughs> it's an education. <laughs> yeah, she said the right thing. <laughs>